Hi guys, uh, this is a short video to show you how to draw graphs in uh, in Microsoft Word. Um, I choose, I randomly select a graph from the uh, lecture last week. What I will try to do now is to show you how to uh, draw similar graph using uh, Word. So if first we want to start with the, the both axes, so we want to start with the vertical and horizontal axis. To do this, go to insert and shapes and then you just choose a straight line press shift before you drag this and draw the the line just the vertical axis just to make sure it is it is straight line so this is the uh, vertical axis you could make this change the line uh, the color to black if you want so that is the vertical axis the same way we could draw the um, the horizontal axis so again I'll press shift and then I'll drag this to draw the horizontal um, the horizontal axis just to make sure I choose that one so here we go so again I could also change the color if I would like if you want so so this is black and now I want to label these two axes. So let's say um, I want to label the first one the um, the horizontal axis. So I choose the text box here. So you could go from insert and shapes rather than going for the straight line. You could just choose the text uh, box and let me choose again because I selected that. So now I choose it again. So there we go. So this is the text box. So you can type anything here. So I'll uh, make sure this is very small. So let's say I go here, make this, let's say four, and this will be real GDB uh, trillions of 2009 dollars. Um, so this is the, the horizontal axis. And the vertical axis, we want to label the vertical axis. So you go to uh, shapes, insert shapes, and then you choose the same, uh, the um, text box you could do the same. And here we want to make this text, the text direction. We want to make this to rotate it that way. So if you want to do a very similar uh, shape to or figure to the one that we have from the lecture, um, again, I'll do this. I'll make it a bit smaller. So say four and I'll expand this a little bit just to make sure that I can see what I'm writing. And um, so go back here, edit text. And then this is the price level. Just make sure you have it. So you can see it. So I'll expand it. So now we can see this is the price level um, and it's measured by GDB deflator um, where 2009 is the day's year. Okay, so this is the vertical axis. So now we have both axes and we leave we label them. So now we want to draw the long run aggregate supply curve. So we have two long run aggregate supply curve, zero and one. So we move from this one to this one. The same thing in the short run, we move from the <clears throat> the, the blue one to the red one. So um, let me start with the, um, the long run aggregate supply, both axes first. So the same way, we'll go to this, choose shapes, and then I'll start with the first one. Remember to hold the shift key, um, just make sure that it is going to be a straight line. So of course you can do, um, you can change the color, but I'll leave it um, uh, blue and I'll just make it a bit bigger. So I change the width, let's say to um, one point. So that's the, the first one. Again, I can label that one to um, LS, LAS0. So long run aggregate supply zero. Um, so this is LAS uh, 
zero. Oops, sorry. So this is zero. We could actually make it. Um, I believe we can change this to no one. Yep, I'll find it later. But let's say uh, let's say this is the 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 long run aggregate supply, the first curve. If I want to draw the second one, so again I go to search shapes straight line, and let's say this is the the new one. Oops. Actually, what's easier than this is to copy and paste. You can copy and paste. So I'll, I'll, I'll select that one. I'll copy and paste that one. So I have another one exactly the same, the same curve. And I'll change the color to, um, to red. And I will copy that one. Just make my life easier. And paste it. Sorry, just paste it. Just came in a different place on the page, but I'll just move it to here. And this will be the long run aggregate supply curve one. Okay, so now I want to say that we move from zero, long run aggregate supply zero, to long run aggregate supply one. So you go to insert and then you can go to shapes again and you can choose any of these arrows here. So let's say choose that one. So to show the direction of this movement. So we move from this one, from this to this one. Um, okay, so um, Okay, so that's the that's the 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 the, um, the long run aggregate supply curve. So we could do the same for the uh, short run aggregate supply curve. Um, just want to change the thickness of this one. So let's say make it one point so it is clear. Same here. Double click on this and then you change to one. So now we have it a bit clear, and then we could. Let me make this very to a bit closer to the because we can move it away. The same thing here. So trying to replicate the the figure we have from the lecture. So what we want to do now, what we want to do next is the short run aggregate supply zero and the short run aggregate supply one. So again you'll go to insert shapes and then I'll take straight line and in that case I will have I'll start with this one first so this is oops, this is the short run aggregate supply curve okay, let's say this is one you could again change this the width to one point just to make it uh, visible um, can change the slope and you could actually do this different ways how to change the slope so um, of this one this side this is the and you could name it the same way so um, you could sorry I don't want to save it now so you could um, insert um, textbooks we could actually copy that one if that would be easier let's just copy that one um, this one copy and paste you see sometimes just uh, paste it in wrong place in the in the page so let me just take it back to the our graph and then here we go so this is our short run aggregate supply zero so what we can do now is to copy that one and paste it and then you place it wherever you think the direction is in our case now it uh, it shifts to the right 
and I'll copy and paste this one. Um, just to make it easy for me to label the this regards to uh, this is the short run aggregate supply one. So uh, and and so on. So you can easily put the these numbers here, sixteen or seventeen, the same way. So you can have um, uh, let's first show the direction of this movement. So we move to this direction um, from here to here. So it's clear where we moved from which point, from which one, from which curve to the other. So from zero to one or short run aggregate supply zero to short run aggregate supply one. Um, we could also uh, put these um, labels here or actually I could start with the, um, these um, um, if, if I want to for example um, um, to to show that the price level at any point here so I can say okay if I want to show the price level here for example or at this point so we could again choose the uh, sorry let me just do it again I just insert This this should have point. So I just didn't start with the right point, so let me do it right. Um, yeah. So I need to place it in the correct place. Let's say this one here. So I'll um, here we could change this to dash um, or dotted line, so it's uh, obvious. Uh, just we pointing to the uh, where the um, the price level is at that point, um, and you could put the label in the same way um, we did these labels. So we can have um, one label here or this one. Let's say this could be this level here. So that is sixteen, for example. And then we want it that size, okay. So and then copy and paste. We could um, move this one here. So that's let's say, um, yeah. So that is seventeen. Okay. So um, now we 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 try to. Um, replicate the graph I don't know it's not exactly the same but um, I, I know it is not exactly the same but it's it's um, the idea here is just to show you how to, to use Microsoft Word to um, to uh, do some graphs uh, for uh, in economics so the last thing I would like to show you is that you can group actually all these together so um, you can group everything here uh, so when you move them, so you move them as one picture or one graph. So if you want to copy and paste, or you want to deal them in any, um, move them different places, you could actually uh, do this. So I'll, what I'll do here is I will um, I'll group all these. I just try to highlight everything it did, and then I will uh, put them in one one group. Um, and I think that's also this. This is the this is the, our graph. So if you try to move this, it will show you which one is not grouped yet. So yeah. So here, let me just prove this again. So this one, this one is, was not part of the group. This one. Um, yeah. So let's prove this again. You see, when you move it, you will see which one is not, is not a part of this grouping. So I think it's this. Uh, vertical axis here. So when I put this with the grouping, so I want to make sure when I um, when I move the graph, everything is just moving together, um, and it's included in in one group. So this is again group. So, so that's it. I think that's that that that's everything. So um, again, the, so the main idea in this video is just to show you how to um, make uh, how to create a graph uh, in, in Microsoft Word. I hope uh, that was very 
uh, uh, symbol and clear and how and hopefully you'll be able to do this uh, for the assignment. Thank you so much for watching and see you, ne see you next time.